if it's selected like so you're gonna click on it and you're going to select standard primitives make sure you selected standard primitives the next thing we're going to go ahead and create more cylinders you wanna click on cylinder and we're going to create the hole in our fan let's go ahead and look at our reference image so we created base sorry I didn't look at our uh, reference image now I will do so uh, we created the base and uh, we created the hole and then we have the cylinder then we're going to uh, connect with base another base that we're going to clone and now we want to create those four holes for the screws so let's go ahead and jump to it in our top view a port make sure you right click on it once of your mouse button and now your cylinder is selected under the standard primitives under the geometry under the create okay uh, you wanna click somewhere over here and hold your mouse button and scroll move your mouse button and then release your mouse button and move again to create some uh, height okay like so you can check your front and left view to see what you're doing using those cameras just put your eye on it and you know use different viewports to have the clue where you at what you're doing and stuff like so okay the next thing what we want to do uh, we want to go ahead and click on modify and uh, on that cylinder we want to go ahead and click right button on it and say editable poly we are not going to name this cylinder because it's basically just going to be a hole we're going to bully on it like we did this hole before so we're not going to give any names to it it's just going to disappear in a, in, a, in a minute the next thing make sure you click on editable poly and nothing is selected like so so if it's selected vertices or polygons you want to click on this icon double click and it will unselect it then you're going to go ahead and click on select the move tool this icon right here and click on it and now you can move uh, our 2d object and uh, or 3d model now you're going to go ahead and click on front viewport right click with your mouse button once and just keep in mind if you're going to double click right mouse button it's going to give you this crazy menu it's fine just right click somewhere else from that menu and it will disappear now we want to move, move it just a little bit by Y make sure it's between our base so it's going to boolean it perfectly make it perfect hole okay like so now we want to go ahead and uh, click on top viewport right mouse button and a little bit zoom in then use my pen and view tool right here this hand I'm going to in my uh, top viewport I'm just going to position the camera so I'm, and then use the zoom tool zoom in a little bit and trying to position it kind of uh, with my uh, select the move tool so it's going to be perfect something like so on the side here and here okay uh, then I'm going to zoom out using my zoom tool now what I'm gonna do I'm going to create four different cylinders how to do so I'm just basically just going to go ahead and clone it uh, make sure your cylinder is selected that small cylinder we're going to go ahead and click edit and you already know by now click clone I'm not going to use any hotkeys and I'm also I'm not going to name it you can name your clone if you want it I'm not going to name it because it's going to be another hole and we're going to create four holes so then it's created it then I'm going to go ahead and click select and move button it's created when you're going to click OK button then I'm going to go ahead and click select the move button right here I can now I can move it in my top viewport and I'm going to move it somewhere here then I'm going to use my zoom tool and zoom in you can see I have two objects two cylinders this one and this one I'm kinda going to position like I positioned that one before it's kinda even like so then I'm going to zoom out with my zoom tool or my third mouse uh, button if I have a desktop mouse with three buttons on it 
or if you have on a laptop you can use this icon to zoom in zoom out then I'm going to clone it again edit uh, clone and going to make sure it's saying object copy going to click OK and go back to my select and move tool and uh, move it then using my zoom tool this guy right here I'm going to zoom it and I'm going to use the uh, pen view and I'm just kinda going to go ahead and pan my camera my viewport and then position like I just did kinda even and I'm going to create one more uh, cylinder to clone it edit uh, clone and going to say OK as a copy and using my uh, select the move tool I'm going to move it and then tool zoom it make sure it's like repositioned before kind of even on my base model like so alright then zoom out and I have by now four uh, cylinders alright they going through my uh, base uh, box as you can see in different views even in my perspective view okay the next thing what I want to do the next thing I'm going to go ahead and make sure I um, click and select object tool and now I'm going to select my um, box base it's selected I'm going to go ahead and click uh, create go to geometry make sure it's selected then click on standard primitives and I'm going to select on compound objects I'm going to create boolean as you already know by watching this tutorial what it does I'm going to go ahead and click boolean and pick upper and B and I'm going to go ahead and click on the object any cylinder and it's going to make a hole like so you can see there is a hole okay display updates you can open result plus hidden okay before I'm going to do so what I wanna do let's go ahead and undo uh, click on undo icon here and undo two more times when the this guy right here going to go back to uh, editable poly I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's selected my box base gonna click on modify icon and now I'm um, going to scroll down a little bit there's an option here tessellate what, what is tessellate? tessellate button a tessellate uh, modifier what it does it's basically create more polygons in my um, 3D model so basically just give me uh, splitting this, those polygons into multiple polygons and I can um, have my model kinda solid and uh, let me show it to you, demonstrate you I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, by the tessellate on this button which says settings and you can see I can tessellate H and face I wanna uh, select H and tension 0 I'm going to go ahead and click OK as you can see over here I created extra polygons split it into four which kinda I can now operate with those different polygons it's great especially when you're working with polygons models and you're trying to smooth it but when you're smoothing your models with some other fires I'm going to show it to you later on during this tutorial it's going to uh, get to the funky shape so to to get rid of that to keep kinda your shape but kinda smooth the edges of the model you want to tessellate first and then use the smooth modifier to smooth it so we just use the tessellate modifier and there is two two ways you can uh, tessellate your uh, 3D model by clicking on this modifier over here or just click on modifier list and select the tessellate from the list it will do just the same thing uh, what the difference between those two uh, well when you're gonna click over here in tessellate you can see it just again tessellate the the whole thing and kinda modify it make a diff different shape you can basically reshape your model over here a little bit 
with your polygons uh, using the computer uh, in artificial intelligence also you can right click on this t-select and click delete you can delete anytime but when you use the t-select option over here modifier you cannot bring uh, the uh, polygons back uh, unless you're going to do undo but when you just create hundred more uh, edits to it you're not going to undo it so one way when you're using the modifier list you can undo the tessellation another way when you're using this guy right here you cannot uh, the modifier list tessellation give you the ability of um, more more option this uh, tessellation modifier uh, give you less abilities just only the level how much you want to select and that's it over there you can also reshape your model a little bit but for this case we want to use this one for another case we're going to use different one and you will learn why so I will explain click on uh, settings again and try to bring a little bit more polygons like so click OK OK so we just OK it here so the next thing what we want to do uh, we're going to um, now go to create uh, go to boolean and we're going to say pick operand B and now we're going to uh, select on any other cylinders to make a hole like so perfect and uh, the next thing what we want to do and you already know by now if it's not whole if it just add this object to this object what you want to do you want to go ahead and click and subtraction a minus b and we'll subtract the b which is cylinder the next thing what you want to do you want to click on modify and click right click on the boolean 